Good morning or good afternoon if you're joining us from the East Coast. We'll allow another moment or so for other participants to join us and we'll be right back with you. Thank you once again for taking the time out of your day to join us for yet another webinar. We're really excited about this particular webinar and that it is not necessarily following your traditional path of marketing. Uh, it is, however, very, very important uh, to consider some of these more traditional advertising strategies. And so we're really excited to share our experience with direct mailers. Got mail? How to score new customers with a dispensary direct mailer campaign. We're going to be talking about how to get online sales with geo-targeted campaigns and mailers. On our agenda for today, why direct mail campaigns are still effective. How to maximize your campaign to drive more people to your website and what you need to get started on your first direct mail campaign. A little bit about myself. My name is Eduardo Silva. I'll be your host for today's webinar. I have 18 years of sales and marketing experience, and I'm really, really excited to have been part of this industry and be able to help a lot of businesses find their digital marketing foot. A little bit about foot traffic. We are a dispensary digital advertising agency. We have been in business for over five years, exclusively focusing within this industry and nothing else. At any given point, we may be helping over 400 plus stores across the United States and Canada find customers and retain them. And we're really excited to be helping you today with some of these key strategies to ensure your business is continuously growing. So let's get started. Before getting underway here, let's take a moment to familiarize ourselves. If you are joining us from the webinar front on the Zoom interface, there is a Q&A function in the interface itself. So do take a moment to find that. It's either on the top of your screen, hidden, or on the bottom. We do have panelists here live today that can address any questions as they pop up. And then finally, cell phones. We absolutely love them. They are the key to our digital marketing strategies most often. But during this webinar, we are going to be covering a lot of content. So we do ask that you put those cell phones face down for just a moment so we can get through all of these content and make it really impactful for you. And then finally, make sure to stick around. We do have a special offer for those who are attending today at the end of the webinar, as well as uh, some more Q&A timeline. So let's get started. When you get a mailer from a brand you are interested in, what do you do? You save it, right? Maybe you tack it up on your fridge with a magnet so you can actually remember it. Next time you wanna use a coupon, or you keep it on your desk so you can go to their website when you have a free moment. Yes, there are pieces of mail that is inevitably going to go right into the recycle bag. But when we receive mail that is relevant to us and our goals, we tend to hold on to it. That's the idea behind Foot Traffic's dispensary direct mailer campaign. 73% of American consumers say they prefer being contacted by brands via direct mail because they can read it whenever they want it. That's a huge percentage of your customers. And what they're saying is clear, direct mail is convenient. Great, so people like receiving mailers from particular brands. That doesn't mean they act on them, right? Well, thankfully, when we run it correctly, a direct mail campaign can have a response rate of around 9%. 
and some strategic targeting and your response rate could actually even go higher. As long as you create a targeted campaign that reaches your ideal customer, you can stay on top of mind with your customers and create further brand recognition. In addition, because most cannabis dispensaries aren't doing this, you will stand out from the competition. Targeting is really key here. Not only will it make your mailer more effective, but it will help you stay compliant with advertising regulations. You don't want to waste time and effort sending mailers to people who aren't interested in your products or who can't buy them because they aren't old enough. And you don't want some regular finding you because you sent mailers to someone who is 19 years of age. So what type of mailers can we make for you? Depending on how large you want to go, you can create regular size postcards, large postcards, flyers, and even brochures. These are the most economical options, but if you want to make a splash, we have no problem sourcing alternatives for you. The size you choose should depend on the message you want to convey. Large postcards, which are about half of the size of a regular sheet of paper, are the most popular option because they are big enough to grab the attention and feature an eye-catching design. If you want to require that people bring your mailer into your store to get a discount, then consider making your opt-in um, for your mailer a lot smaller, like a postcard size. So that's easier for them to carry it around. Larger flyers and brochures may be useful for sharing information and may make sense if you want to talk about your free consultation or educational resources. Ultimately, the size of your ma mailer matters less than what is actually on the mailer. You can have a larger mailer and fail to make the impact because your design and copy aren't well thought out. And you can have a smaller postcard that scores you tons of sales because you included a great deal. Before getting into what should be on the mailer, let's talk about the addresses. How can you get addresses that belong to known cannabis users or people of age? Because this is such a pain point for clients, we've made the point of sourcing mailing lists that feature predominantly of age recipients. Many states require that any dispensary advertising must reach an audience that is composed of at least 75% of individuals 21 or over. We don't want our partners to get dinged by regulators. So we have already done the pre-work for you. You don't just want to focus on everyone over 21. As I mentioned earlier, targeting can increase the effectiveness of your campaign. And depending on your location, you have a couple different options available to you. If you are in a populous area like a metro area or a city, Consider starting with only certain neighborhoods. You don't want to blanket the entire city with your mailers. Rather, pinpoint the neighborhoods where your customers are most likely to live. If you run a delivery service, it may seem like sending a postcard to everyone within your delivery area is a great idea, but it can actually be a waste of effort. Instead, Start with just a segment of your delivery area. Focus on addresses that meet the demographics of your target market. For example, if you run a cannabis concierge delivery service focusing on high-end cannabis product, you will want to hone in on particular demographics like income or possibly education level. This will help ensure your advertising gets into the right hands. Geotargeting is very important for mailers. People aren't doing a drive over an hour to get to your dispensary unless that's the only option for getting legal cannabis. It doesn't make sense to send mailers to areas that aren't home to your target market. So be sure to have a general idea of what your ideal audience is and where they live. If you have a business plan, this information should already be in it. 
if you were been operating for a while, you can look at your customer's database to identify common traits and create some personas to help you narrow your focus. Let's talk about how to maximize your campaign and get more people to buy from you. Some people spend a lot of time on the design of their mailers. And I'll be honest, though it's not the most important part, it's still a crucial element because you want anything associated with your brand to look good. However, I'm going to talk about the most important parts of your direct mailer campaign in just a moment, so stay tuned. When, when thinking about your design, you want, you want anything you create to be in line with your style guide. You want it to be attractive to your target audience and you want it to be recognizably from you. You don't want it to look like you could have, you could have come up with anything else. As in a last resort, this helps build brand trust and recognition within your market audience. As you're working on your layout of your mailer, think about how much text you want to make and, and make sure to give a prominent spot for your logo. You want to be focused on your message and free of clutter. Stick to just a couple main points and if in doubt, just cut the extra stuff out. When choosing design elements like fonts and colors, stick to your style guide unless any of those elements fail to transfer well on paper. If your chosen font is difficult to read, for example, opt for something more consumer friendly. Similarly, if your brand colors make it hard to read text, tone some of them down. You only have a few seconds to capture the audience attention. You do not want to waste those rare few seconds to be taken up with them being frustrated because they can't read your font. We've designed several mailers and we understand it can be hard to nail down the right design. Because of this, we always make several iterations so that our clients are able to better determine what they like and what they don't like. Some people are attracted to design, others are attracted to catchy headlines. What you say can matter just as much as what your mailer looks like. In fact, for some mailers, the copy is the design. I'm sure you've uh, received a mailer that just had bold text on, the, on, on one side. It can be pretty eye-catching because it forces you to read it immediately. This style isn't for everybody though. So your copy should be brand appropriate and convey your message very clearly. Let's say you're opening up a new store and you want to drive enrollment into your loyalty program. You can have your company model on one side of your card and text about your loyalty program on the other, along with a special introductory deal for signups. If you want to capture attention, you will want to make the most of the space you're given. That doesn't mean cramming in as much text as possible though. You want your copy to be easy to read. So make sure that it is a large font that can be read from about a foot away. Once you have decided on your text, make sure to run it by an editor. You do not want to send out a mailer full of mistakes. This really should be a separate person than the copywriter. Your editor can help you tailor your message and trim any access. You want to be concise and cut out any extra words that distract you or the consumer from what you're trying to say or ensure that there is no redundancy. They're just taking up space. Better to increase your font size than waste your time with extra words. Now let's talk about the most important part of your mailer. If you want people to take action, what better way to motivate them than with a time sensitive deal? Your deal and call to action are crucial for getting the most out of your direct mailer campaign. To create a worthwhile deal, you need to be clear about your goals, whether it's online sales, new customer acquisition or loyalty signups then you need to make it clear to the recipient 
what you want them to do and why they should do it. With the previous example, we wanted to get new loyalty signups. We could say something like, join our VIP program for exclusive access to deals on your favorite products like 20% off Fat Panda. Text JOIN to 55555 now. Simple, right? This type of call to action may not lead to immediate sales. However, by increasing your loyalty sign up, you can continue to market to those individuals without having to pay to capture them again and again in the future. If you're trying to acquire new customers, you can offer a deal for a percentage off their first purchase. Just be sure to make it worth their while. Take a look at what your competition is doing and differentiate yourself, whether it's your product offering, branding, or deals. Many places are still under restriction. While dispensaries are open and considering essentials, you may want to limit the number of people coming into your store and how long they stay. If this is you, you might want to run a campaign focused on online orders. Offer a discount for online only orders. Share your free delivery deal or talk about how easy your curbside pickup is. Make it exciting and again, be clear on what you want the recipient to do. For example, take $10 off when you order online. Depending on your CTA, you may want to include an SMS opt-in code on your mailer to encourage recipients to sign up for your loyalty program. Again, this is so you don't have to pay to capture the same individual again. They will start receiving your text offers or email instead. While it's not a sale, it's still an important conversion. They've entered your sales funnel and they're aware of your brand now. You still have time to get them to your online menu or into your store. I've mentioned this a couple of times for a reason. Once someone is on your list, you're able to continually market to them. They've already expressed interest and you're, you can now do the work towards getting them to become a loyal customer. The more touch points you get with them, the more likely they are to convert into a customer. Putting a QR code on your mailer can make it easy for recipients to shop on your menu. It also lets you track the effectiveness of your campaign, which is extremely important. To do this, you will want to sign up for a QR code or tracking or work with a team like us here at Foot Traffic that will do this for you. You will also want to ensure that your Google Analytics is set up properly. We found that too many dispensaries either don't have Google Analytics installed or it isn't set up correctly. This is a huge problem when it comes to revenue attribution, which is going, we're going to discuss in just a moment. Where your QR code goes will depend on your messaging. You can go to a sign up page for your loyalty program, your menu, your consultation scheduling page, your deals page, or your home page. You can help, we can help you determine which is the right one for your campaign. For many of our clients, we opt to link directly to the menu so recipients can easily place an order. Let's talk about money. So why have Google Analytics installed on your site for a mailer campaign? Well, one of the most important things you can do for your advertising efforts is to ensure that revenue attribution is set up. Revenue attribution is the act of tying your sales to your advertising efforts, and it's crucial for monitoring the impact of your marketing. Because if you can't track it, you won't be able to manage it. When you're able to track how much revenue your advertising campaigns generate, you can pinpoint the channels that are most effective for your dispensary and then invest more into those specific channels. It's vital information that every dispensary should invest in. Without revenue attribution, you're practically flying blind. Basically, you're throwing money at a problem and hoping it works. With the technology available nowadays, that doesn't have to make sense to not use it. Why waste time, money, and effort 
and then not measure how effective your campaigns were. This is really important for us at Foot Traffic, as you can tell. We've made revenue attribution and transparency a part of our mission. We want to bring the cannabis industry up to speed and put it as in par with other industries by implementing tracking and measuring the effectiveness of your marketing, you can make the most out of your budget. And let's be honest, advertising and marketing budgets are often the first to get slashed when money is tight. So don't let this happen to you because with revenue attribution, it can show the impact of your efforts and save your budgets or even get them increased. To get started, as I mentioned before, you will need Google Analytics. Once that's set up, you will want to use a UTM code to track your different traffic sources. You should be creating these codes to insert them in your social media messages, text messages, and emails. For your mailer, your QR code will contain unique signifiers to help track the effectiveness of your campaign. In addition to Google Analytics, you will want a menu platform that works with Google Analytics e-commerce tracking. This helps you tie the UTM with particular transactions so that you can better parse the data later on. The foot traffic team and I have spent a lot of 2020 working with different menu platforms to help ensure that our clients could properly set up revenue attribution. We found that some platforms are simple enough to connect it if you want to do so while others need complicated workarounds and engineering hours to properly enable revenue retribution. Because we believe this is such a valuable tool for our customers, we set this up with all of our services. I'd be happy to talk to you about this, as well as how we can actually help your dispensary grow your revenue with all of the different channels you're embarking in. You can schedule a call with us and we'll put the link here on the chat window for everyone. So let's talk about timing. When should you send out your direct mailer? The most basic answer is that the timing should align with your goals. The most basic answer is timing is of the essence. If you're facing a slump and looking to boost your sales, you could be looking at a great timing to create and send a mailer as well as implement digital advertising efforts like mobile banner ads to help keep you top of mind with your customers. Mailers are also great if you're hosting an event. We know that some dispensaries are still doing virtual events, which is great. Why not spread the word with a mailer and insert a QR code that goes directly to your signup page? Be sure that your page also includes an opt-in box for your email and text message marketing campaigns. Holidays are also a great time to run direct mail or campaigns. We have Valentine's Day in just a month, then St. Patrick's Day, then Easter, and of course, 420. You can do a spin on the traditional gifts for these holidays and feature edibles and cannabis beverages to help people celebrate differently. Honestly, there's no wrong time to send a mailer. It's all about what you want to accomplish. We can help you establish the right timing for your goals, not a problem. So are you ready to take the leap and create a direct mailer campaign for your dispensary? So let foot traffic help you get your message into the hands of who want to order from you. A direct mailer campaign can help you boost your online orders, build brand awareness, and keep you top of mind with customers in your area. Whether you are an established dispensary or a new delivery service, a mailer can help you capture the attention of your target audience. Getting started is really, really easy. We have everything you need to get up and running fast and we'll run everything by you so you have the creative input without having to do all of the work. So as I mentioned in the beginning, we are running a deal for the rest of the month to help you get started with mailers and get them in the hands of prospective customers. So give us a call, let's get planning for your campaign. If you get your consultation on the books before the end of the month, we'll cover the graphic design fees for your mailer. So let's stop here for any questions from our audience. Once again, there is a Q&A function on the top of the screen, so please, 
do take a moment to ask any questions that you may have. If the Q&A button is not visible for you, please feel free to use the chat function. All right, first question. How can you get targeted addresses? So in addition to geographic targeting, we can actually target people based on age, income, and other demographic uh, data. The way we like to do this with our clients when planning a mailer campaign is to first take a look at the messages you actually have, uh, excuse me, take a look at the data you actually have in your database right, in your CRM pertaining to your customers. Where do they live? Are they segregated to a specific um, geographical region, a zip code? We like to take a look at those areas first. We can actually run an analysis of the demographics in those areas per zip code and come up with a, a, a number of impressions that we could actually send these mailers to and give you an accurate estimate of how many people meet the specific criteria for your advertisement. Great question. Oh, here's another question that's really interesting. How long does it take to get a mailer campaign launched? Now, mailer campaigns are not like digital campaigns. You can't just hit a trigger button, right? And have a line. So you do have to plan ahead. How do you do this? First and foremost, allocate time for your campaign. Five business days in average to actually finish your creative, go through the entire revision process, make sure you have the time as the customer to really look at the campaign and make sure it does meet your criteria. And then finally, these mailers actually have to go to print and then they have to be scheduled for delivery, right? So I would say anywhere between two to three weeks that's what you want to plan ahead for, right? So I guess, you know, the big takeaway here, it's not a last minute thing. You got to plan it, right? And so work with us. If you have an idea here that you want to run by us and you want to get started, perhaps for one of these holidays that are coming up, let's get that conversation started, especially with the deal that we're offering now. Just get you on the books, get you started so that you have something already in pipeline to send out to your customers. Great question. I really want to just take a moment here to thank everybody for taking the time out of their day to join us. If you have other questions, there were some other questions that we weren't able to get to. Um, happy to schedule a time, even if it's five to 15 minutes to just address those questions offline on a one-on-one. -on -one. Happy to do so. Once again, thank you from the foot traffic team for taking the time out of your day to join us. We're really looking forward to working with you in 2021. Have a wonderful rest of your day.